Hello, everyone. Welcome to a special story time with Northeast Regional Library. Cody Daniel and I, Erica Will, are participating in the Global Read Aloud. Christian Robinson has created a story with pictures called Another. We are going to share our own version of the story with you, with permission from Athenium Books for Young Readers. Once upon a time, there was a cat named Reginald. And in this cat's bedroom opened up a portal. And he saw a red toy mouse. He also saw another cat. Hmm, he wasn't sure what he thought about this cat. He looked and he looked and the cat walked in through the portal and started to chase the little toy mouse and play with it. Reggie, where are you going? Reginald, come back here. Whoa, what's happening? My hair is falling up. There you are, Reggie. A young girl, her name was Felicia, and she decided to travel through the portal using nothing but her bedspread. Oh, what's through here? What is this place? Reggie, come back. Seriously. So Reggie and Felicia were traveling through the portal. They went down and up and up and down and left and right and right and left. And they went all over the place, chasing after Reggie. Whee! Reggie, which cat are you? And Reggie replied, <laughs> Reggie, this is no time to exercise. Let's go home. Forget about the cat with the blue collar. As Felicia went through the next portal, she walked through, and what did she see? She saw a lot of kids all playing with different toys. One was drawing on the wall. One was playing with a hula hoop. One had a toy, a toy teddy bear. And as she looked, it seemed that so many kids were twins. They were mirror images of each other. There was another girl drawing on the roll with, with blue crayons instead of red. There was a boy with a yellow hula hoop instead of a blue hula hoop. Things were getting strange. Gad Zooks, Reggie, there you are with the kid in the red glasses. As Felicia continued to look around, she continued to see more and more kids, but she followed Reggie, trying to find him. Huh, I thought the kid had red glasses and a blue shirt. Hmm. Felicia was starting to be confused. It was so strange, everywhere she looked, there were twins, or there were mirror images again. This was a strange place. As she moved on and moved on, she began to think more and more about this strange place, but she was not aware of what was going to happen next. Hi there. My name's Felicia, and this is Reginald. I like your shirt. I have one just like it. My name is Alicia and this is Robbie. I like your shirt too. Our favorite color is blue. Robbie, where did you get this red mouse toy? You know ours is blue, of course. This must be yours because I noticed you both like red. Thank you. Bye. We are going home. 
So they walked through the portal and they snuggled up into bed and they thought about their day. Well, Reggie, that was an interesting adventure. As Felicia fell asleep, Reginald thought about how happy he was to finally have the red mouse toy that he had lost. And to have a new blue toy that was here all along. The end. Thank you for joining us for story time. If you'd like, you can make up your own story. That's one of the best things about this story is that it's all illustrations and there's not any specific words on the page. So that means you can use your imagination and make up your own story to replay the video and just turn the volume down and create your own. Don't forget, come back tomorrow for another story.